welcome aboard the Rockline Railroad. My name is Rochelle and I will be your conductor for this trip around the mountain today. Now before we get started, I have a few simple but important rules so that we can all have a fun and safe trip. First, everyone must remain seated at all times while the train is in motion. There is no getting up or moving between seats while the train is moving, so please stay seated. Sarah up in the great sweat. personal belongings, body parts, and babies inside the train car at all times. This train cannot and will not stop to retrieve any items falling from the train. Third, there is no smoking while on the train. And finally, everyone must keep their masks on and up, fully covering your mouth and your nose at all times. There is no eating or drinking on this train, so there should be no reason why anyone is removing their masks. So let's stay seated, no stopping, no smoking, keep your masks on, and no eating or drinking on the train. Now by the show of hands, who all has ridden the Rockline Railroad before? Wow, welcome back you guys, and to all our first timers, welcome aboard. Here on the Rockline Railroad, we have a very All aboard! So on the count of three, I'm going to hear you all yell, all aboard! Ready? One, two, three! Great job, you guys. I can tell we're going to have a lot of fun today. Don't want to have to make that climb all the way up. You can only 
is take our sky ride, which is my favorite way to get up to the top of the mountain. This sky ride uses gondolas large enough to hold a lot of people. They carry our guests more than 820 feet in the air, and they complete their ascent in just three minutes. On a clear day like today, you can see for roughly 60 miles from the top of the mountain. That's far enough to make out the Atlanta skyline and parts of the Appalachian Mountains. Elias is also known for his 
his Daredevil stunts. In 1933, he sent a Model T Ford on fire and drove it over the side of the mountain. And a year later, he participated in his first suicide derby. Now, what's a suicide derby, you ask? Well, it's a race where men would compete against other climbers to see who can descend the steep side of the mountain the fastest. Elias won his first derby with a time of 4 minutes and 17 seconds. This is just another reminder that you all need to wear those masks, completely covering your mouth and your nose at all times. different dinosaur species. And, well, you may get lucky today because uh, you may spot a few baby dinos around. That is, if you can locate them. But you see... Ah! What is this? 
Now, I knew that was going to happen. I was totally planned. I was totally planned and uh, didn't catch any of us by surprise. Certainly not me. Uh, oh, Riley, Riley. Oh, 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 oh Riley. Auto parts. It's funny every time. Yes, it does. All right, everyone, this is our assistant, Riley. Say hello, Riley. Hi, I'm Riley. Oh, uh, now, Riley, tell me that you have good news. Yes. Oh. Absolutely. Um, kind of. It's not good news, but it's not bad news, so that's good. Uh, just tell us that the baby dinosaurs you let loose have figured out how to detonate the dynamite, what? and that we lost the lab. What? 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 Lose the you know, lab. What baby dinosaurs? Because they have to be around here somewhere. <laughs> it's just a but uh, once again, nothing to worry about. We that uh, was totally planned. We knew what was going to happen. Didn't take me by surprise. No uh, assistance. Assistance. Am I right, Doctor Quinn? Uh, yes. Uh, don't bother me, Terry. I'm trying to find a way out of this huh. super control. Assistance. Yes. Uh, yes. Am I right, Doctor Quinn? Uh, yes. Uh, don't bother me, Terry. I'm trying to find a way out of this super control. Assistance. Yes. Am I right, Assistant? Uh, I'm going to go find the baby dinosaurs. So if you could just come down here. Uh, assistance. Assistant finding the dinos. All right. Uh, let me see more people to look for the dinos. <gasps> I have a wonderful idea. I will make all of you temporary Stone Mountain Park employees. It's very simple. All you have to do is raise your right hand. Everyone, please raise your right hand. Congratulations. You're now employees. Now, as Stone Mountain Park employees, whenever you see a baby dino, or really any kind of dino, or very large priceless dinosaur bone, I want you to make this sound. So let's try that. I'm going to pretend to be a dinosaur. I'll turn around and you go. Let's try it. Here we go. Oh, look, I'm a dinosaur. Oh, look. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's going to help us out tremendously. I do a Okay, we have good news. So we didn't find the bow out, which is awful, but we found Uh, thank you so much for coming by. We certainly hope that 
looks like our adventure has sadly come to an end. I hope you all enjoyed the ride. As we're pulling back into the depot, please remember to stay seated until the train makes a complete stop. Again, please stay seated until the train makes a complete stop back at the depot. Once the train makes a complete stop, myself and other train conductors will come around to open those gates for you to exit. Please do not attempt to open those gates yourselves. Again, do not attempt to open the gates yourselves. On behalf of myself and the rest of the train crew, I would just like to say it's been a pleasure having you all aboard with us today. We hope you all have a great rest of your day here at Stowe Mountain Park. Again, please do not attempt to open those gates. Once myself or other train conductors come around and open the gates for you, you all can go ahead and exit out to your right.